Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode three of Let's Try Infinite Dungeon Crawler. Loading assets up here. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to see more IDC. Um, go ahead and click continue. So today is a rest day, and so is tomorrow, the 29th and 30th of April. Um, I just finished up my Dragoness Command of the Flame LP for now, and I uh, thought we'd get back into some LPs that, uh, or some LTs that I started. I could use a little pick-me-up, that's for sure. Okay, so he's kind of unhappy. Um, I'm not sure where we actually left off. Uh, do we still have to sell stuff? I've got the crossbow now. Um... And that's it, basically, and a lockpick, and a, a torch. Ludwig has got his stuff going on, okay, so... Hmm, he needs to pick me up, he's not feeling too well. He's got 30. Displays morale, yeah, he's got to get a little bit better morale, so let's get him a pick-me-up. Pick-me-up? Um, let's see, the merchant... The laboratory, the mayor, sack of flour, the smithy. Um, let's try the here. Our rooms offer much finer accommodations for those with discriminating tastes. What is this? Slightly decrease patent coins in advance for housing. Always a dice game going on in the back. Buy-in is 15 coins. Who knows? Maybe you get lucky and leave with more than that. Drag a person here to eat a meal instant to gamble. Um, how about Ludwig gets a meal? That really hit the spot. Ludwig has received a content palette positive effect from eating. Um, he still seems a little depressed. Uh... What is this? Drag a person here to eat a meal. Oh, do we... Drag a person here to drink. Let's let Ludwig drink. Uh, sure. Did not fix. Remember when you slot a character to do an activity? They don't actually do it until either someone in your party goes through the gate, or you tap on the hourglass button to advance to the next month. Oh. And... Hmm. You could hire someone new. If I don't get work soon, I'll starve. Um, should we hire someone? I think me and Ludwig, or Ludwig and I can handle it. Um, does this skip a month? See, I'm not actually sure. No, we want to go through the gate. One excursion per month. But not with him so depressed. Um, Alright, I guess he drinks for a month? I have no idea. Ending month. Okay, now he's okay. Oh, finishes drinking and his morale moderately increased. However, he's afflicted with the following from drinking. Cravings for alcohol. You had such a good time drinking that you have a hard time focusing on everything else. Negative affliction. Decreases melee defense by 10%. Ludwig's morale slightly decreased due to his housing. Pay 10 coins in advance. Ugh. Well, at least he's back to, like, normal a little bit. Um. Do I want to take, like, a... Someone here? The Paladin? The fact that he's a level 1 Paladin is pretty interesting. And he's got... Oh, just plain cloth peasant stuff. That would be another person to get in on the loot, and I don't think I'm ready to do that, so... Let's go back. Uh, I guess we're ready to head to the gate. So, um... Well, the to mattress of the tavern itch. Let's go ahead and go through free, and Ludwig has to pay ten. Bring it on! Alright, let's head to the hidden realm. Let's do it. 
Okay, we are here yet again. But now it'll be a different map, of course, procedurally generated. Oh, we're up against something. Um, okay, it's over there. Let's zoom out a little bit. I can't. Um, I'm going to come over here and stand. I have to remember how to do this. I'll stop. Ludwig, can you wait? No, just defend. Hmm. I like this position. Let's let's uh, wait. Defend. Yeah, just wait again. Here it comes. It is ah. Uh, not sure what it is. Wait. Ludwig, can you stand here? Ah! Didn't mean to attack there. My bad, I meant to move. Hmm. Um. Let me get. Okay, it's a rat type thing. Okay, can I shoot? attack? Do I have to get... Am I not in proper position? Huh. That dang tree's in the way. Let's go down here. Still can't reach. I think I can't go around the tree. Um... What now? Oh my gosh. We're moving a ton, but... Oh my gosh! Do I have to stand right next to him? Ludwig. End this. Yes! Crit. Nice. Text Ludwig. Okay, can I shoot it? Still can't shoot it, so let's move here. i am surely be able to shoot it. But if I miss, I'll hit Ludwig, probably. Yes. Boom, got it. Nice. The rat dies. Let's, uh... How do I select my... There we go. Uh, mangy giant rat hide. Worth 13 goins. We'll take it. Um, and a torch. That was my torch. Cool. So we got a rat. Let's see what's around here. Bone pile or something? Blue gem. Loot, pretty roughly cut. Worth 12 coins. Um, can we go up there? Not really. Um, nothing here. Maybe if we get pickaxes, we could do something there. Um... What's this? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, there's something here, perhaps. A wooden tankard. Loot, plain and always a good thing to have around. Hope we find more than that, Ludwig. We need to pay for this excursion. This excursion ain't free. Nothing there. Ooh, barrels. Uh, humanoid teeth. Lou, don't ask, but someone here, somewhere, someone somewhere must want these. 
uh, wood primitive statue. Ooh, kind of crudely made, but interesting. Being that there's not that much great loot thus far, I'm glad we didn't bring. Ah! Oh, what happened? A trap was triggered. Simple spring trap. Glad we didn't bring another party member. Usable tongs, loot. This one is in good condi condition and likely to fetch a fair price. Nice. Some tongs. We definitely need to rest. A root. Used by herbalists to make cures and potions. Let's go ahead and come here and, uh... Perhaps camp. So our stamina returns. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Saving. Okay. Come down here. Oh. Nothing there? Hmm. Oh, graves? <laughs> wow. I'm actually digging the graves. And it had nothing. Stump. Tab button to burn it. Huh. Lone barrel. Can I not? Hmm. Don't know, I can't uh, interact with it. Don't know what that's about. Seems like a pretty normal thing to interact with. Mm -hmm. Ooh, three barrels. Uh, less common orange gem. This could ornament some nice jewelry. Alright. So we picked up a few things, but overall not a an amazing run. Rock pile. Nothing under the rocks. Um. And that's going to be it. For this excursion. Um. That's just a shadow, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a barrel there. Another single barrel that we can't interact with. Alright, well... I think our first trip was more successful, but we did pick up a few things. I can't pick up an herb here or something? I'm surprised this has nothing, no value. And what about trees? I may be missing some stuff, not knowing how to interrupt, interact with it. Tap the button to burn it. Um. <laughs> Oh, we burned it. Maybe there could always be something underneath it. I didn't think to come down here and see if the burn button appeared. No? Huh, just for specific things. What about that singular barrel, I wonder? Can I burn it? Oh, there he opened it. Hairbrush. Age has deteriorated its condition, but it's worth 32. Huh, you have to approach it from a certain angle, then. 
Um, I think we better stop and pick up some stamina here. Okay, that's good enough. But then we don't have to eat or anything, so we have to approach it from this side. There we go. Nothing inside, though. Pretty cool, though. wonder if there's other stuff that we haven't been approaching properly. What about this, this tree? Tap the button to burn it. Nothing. Huh. Alright, well I guess we're pretty much done here. Uh, let's head out, head back. Pretty cool. Come on, Ludwig. Okay, split loot. Um. Oh. I don't think we necessarily have to take any of this stuff. I think unless we wanted something personally, we would take it, but there's nothing really personally I want here. I just kind of want the value so if I just click here we'll just cut it up earned 124 coins spent 10 coin in gate fees net total of 114 defeated one monster for a total of two monsters killed in our in all our party each earned a total of 256 XP Ludwig returns from venturing through the gate his morale modestly increased due to the proceeds from the loot I barely broke a sweat Elzerion is inflected with the Following due to his lodging bed bugs. Those mattresses of the tavern are infested. Negative affliction decreases melee accuracy by 10%. Ludwig has recovered from the cravings for alcohol affliction. Good job, Ludwig. His morale slightly decreased due to housing. Oh, it smells like a goblin's armpit in here. Paid 10 coins in advance for housing. Hunting competition. In order to facilitate a hunting competition, the warden has declared there will be no fees for hunting for the duration. Hunting is free this month. Have we... Oh, I haven't been checking the, uh... That, but let's go see if we can afford a room. Uh, yeah. Let's... Let's go ahead and get a nice room at the inn. A little more expensive. I hope the roof doesn't leak. But nicer accommodations. Um, hello? I want to go there. Drag up. Drag them to slot an activity. There we go. So 30 a month, not too bad, but it's better living. Um, so yeah, now we got the loot. You know, it was already divvied up. We sold it all. So unless you want to keep something special. You can just do that and, and get a cut of it. Ancient tomes. Primary watering hole. Hope I get to practice at the armory sometime. Uh, yeah, perhaps. The merchant. At least it's a real mattress. Let's check out the merchant. Rogue plus one ability is 100 gold plus 150 per times level. We can't do that yet, but let's see what we can buy in our price range. Um, waistcoat. That would be a 2.6 armor upgrade. Poor bronze flesh pounder. What about for you? Looks like it'd be a better in accuracy. Heavier. Um... Upgrade to the stars, which I'm not sure about. Fair chance to inflict stun. Looks like a negative to damage down to 2 to 5. A negative in... I don't know. No, I'm not sure about that yet. I'm going to have to look at the manual, maybe. 
hickory crystal wand of ice gives off strong light targets defend using magic defense range 6 does 1 to 3 ice damage but I lose 3 to 8 uh, for my crossbow poor small hickory oozing shield I don't think he can equip anything in the left hand because he's got a two handed weapon Poor oak crossbow, that's what I've got, right? Yep. I think. Um. Include equipped. Aha. Oh, he's got a pickaxe, actually. wonder if he could mine that stuff and I didn't know. I got you a long studded mace. See, I don't know what these stats are. 20% stars. Stun. Good chance to inflict stun. Yeah, that must be stun. Fair chance to knock down. Maybe that's knock down 10%. And 13 is... Wheel, I don't know, wielded with both hands. Loses 1 to 3 damage it looks like an 18 accuracy and it's 2.5 pounds heavier perhaps let's look at the stats on this 55 so it's pretty accurate I guess 6 to 13 plus 25 percent it doesn't let me click on those and see what they are let's try this let's come here and maybe see, oh, we can see what this stuff does here, right? That's a damage bonus for melee type attacks. Yeah, we can see what each of them are. It looks like that is that is knocked down, as we thought. The stars is indeed stun resist. Then there was the battery, weak resistance, he has 25% and 10% ice resistance. What was the other stat? Like, bleed vs. bleed? Um, this is accuracy. Um, and basically this number minus the defender's defense values the chance to hit critical chance is 25% less. So is here a 30% critical chance? Is that what it's saying? Perhaps. Defense, magic defense, 6 to 13. Um, Okay, so going by this stuff, I should be able to understand what all it does. It's SR is stamina regen. SP is stamina points. MP is movement points. Then we've got um, physical damage resist. Magic damage resist. Knockdown. Fire. Bleed. Blind? Yeah, blind. Um, charm? No panic. Slow is the snail. Ten is ice. That's lightning. Shock resist. Weak resist. Sleep resist. That's poison. That's stun. And that is confusion, right? Okay, so knowing that, I should be able to make sense of this. So, I don't know what that icon is. Two-handed weapon. 7.7 .7 pounds. 55 gold. 55 accuracy, which is 38. What's the fist? 38 from the strength 15 strength plus 10 percent uh, not sure what that is T oh 10% damage, I guess. No, it looks like tools or something. Looks like a wrench. Huh. Oh, from... Right. 
from his two-handed axes. It's showing the tools, the wrench, and the pencil there. Okay. So that's where that 25% bonus comes from. And... He gets 38... Plus 5 bonus from his innate ability. Plus 10U and 2 dexterity. 10U and what's the 38 with the fist though? Oh, 38 is bonus. So this is saying it's 55 and 38 is a bonus. Oh, a 38 bonus plus 5 and 8 plus 10U. I don't know what 10U is. Um. Yeah, four, uh. I don't know what that is. That one for something 13% bleed. Oh, is that a status ailment? For. I don't know, I'm not sure. Hmm. Just trying to figure some stuff out before we, you know, continue, but. It would be good to know some of this stuff. Anyway, now that we know that, I think we can go to the merchant at least and kind of make sense of this stuff like if we were to get him say the studded mace um first of all this one's worth doesn't actually say what it's worth what's this do oh orders it by worth I guess um, so if we go point of iron studded mace um, it says minus 13 um, bleed plus 10 knockdown plus 20% stun zero of that when that has four I don't know what that means minus one to three damage minus 18 accuracy Yeah, bonus to accuracy. 2.5 pounds heavier, I would take it. Not sure what that means. Let me try to get a good look at it. Oh, sorry guys. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, we're not in a hurry, guys, so I hope you guys aren't, like, freaking out that I'm trying to figure this stuff out. I apologize if so, but... Um, let's see, what do we need here? Now that we can kind of make more sense of it. I don't want to mind getting that poor bronze decorated pickaxe. I wish I could see what this goes for. It's not really telling me. If I were to click that... What did I do? Oh, I unwielded it. Okay. And if I hit sell, it's just going to sell it. So I don't know. Um, Double-headed fang axe. So basically we lose bleed in favor of knockdown and stun. I'd honestly rather knockdown and stun, but less accuracy isn't too good. Um, notched flang mace, flanged mace, loses 15 accuracy, 4 to 5 damage, yeah, that's not good. Um, poor gilded cloth top, that looks pretty nice. I'd gain 0.2 from it, it's not worth 72. Um, skull cap, basically the same, 
Well, actually, it'd be just an upgrade of 1.1 because I'm not wearing a helmet. It would be an upgrade of 0.9 for Ludwig. Poor goat hide leather boots, leather waistcoat. Hickory crossbow. Okay, so we just gotta basically save our money until next time. Is what I would make of it. Alright, it's raining. Um, the laboratory for maybe potions. Um, let's check the board. Odd jobs. Nothing. So hunting is free. How do we go hunting? The Evervale Woods are a ranger's paradise. Do we go there? A little bit of dirt never killed anyone. Hunting is free. Okay. Um, I will go ahead and hunt this month. Or Ludwig will hunt. I'll go ahead and hunt, I guess. Commit Elzarian to hunting. Let's send Ludwig to stock game. You must be quiet and vigilant. Okay, I'm a rogue. We'll try it. Okay, I'm hunting this month. And um, Ludwig... Ludwig, I guess, can head to the armory. And, uh... Drag a person here to practice for 25. Yeah, that works. Honing his battle skills for 25 coins, sure. You can still feel my bruises from last time. The armory is a rough place where the master at arms hones warriors' battle skills. Don't go in if you're afraid of bruises. Oh no. Um, let's hit this. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh wait, we're supposed to go through the gate first. Oh, and then do this. My bad, guys. Um, you can outrun some monsters, and maybe when you get home, your mom will have a nice glass of milk ready for you. <laughs> we'll just spend the month, I guess. I messed it up. Alright, Elzarian has recovered from bed bugs, came back from the hunt. Ludwig finished honing his battle skills, and his morale moderately increased. Ludwig's morale moderately increased due to his housing. Lisa's a real mattress, paid 30 coins in advance. Hunting competition has ended. Harvest Festival. This is the time when all of Evervale comes together to celebrate the year's harvest. All activities are guaranteed to bring extra joy and happiness to all participants. Be sure to visit the traveling merchant's tent set up near the tavern. She always carries a unique collection of rare and exotic items. She can also register you for the festival games where you can compete for a chance to take home a purse full of coins. Ends this month. Wow. Um... Traveling merchant is rare and exotic items for sale. What is this? Participate in the... F so we have to go to the gate first, basically. Wow, she does have some... Pretty cool stuff. Yikes. Not even looking at that till we get more money. So let's just head to the gate, and then we can come back and do this stuff. Proper like. Been working here a few years now. Many go in, lots don't come back. Okay, we need to make good money, Ludwig. Um, let's just head back to the Hidden Realm for now. The other stuff is probably too high level. Whoa. You good, bro? Okay, you good. Now, can I get a hold of Ludwig? To... Let's take you... Now, can you go in your... Well, you're already equipped with it, so you can't pick that, I guess. And come here and... Okay, no. So... Alright, let's come here. Bone pile with a rusty axe. It's just loot. Once the rust is scraped off, there might be something left to melt down. Cool. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing. Red mushroom, worth one. Used by herbalists to make cures and potions. Hmm. Nothing up here. 
Oh. Rusty scissors. Rusty, but could be cleaned up to be useful. Maybe some stuff across the bridge. Come on, Ludwig. Weird. This looks like you could pick some flowers from here. Shove, smoke bomb. Yeah, nothing that you can do here. Hmm. All right, let's head down this way. I guess it's just a slow start until we... Ooh. There we go. Nothing there, though. Don't go in the water, bro. It's a little glitchy around water. something good. Nothing. So far, no enemies. Some weird rock. Another grave. With yellow gelatinous cube. You're not sure, but this might be used for cooking somehow. Hole in the ground with a severed hand. Looks like it was cut off on purpose. Oh boy. Okay, no getting up there. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, your stamina is dipped below 50% and you will incur bigger accuracy and defense penalties the lower it goes. Use defend to try to replenish it. First of all, can we move? Oh, I can't move, I have to attack. Let's just defend then. Oh, we have to click on it. I can move. Okay, go there and defend. Ludwig has dipped below. Oh man, this is not good. I'll come up here and wait. I guess. Okay, I got a nice stamina boost. I'm going to move up here. Ludwig does not have much defense. Chance to hit. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, a scarecrow? I didn't mean to swing. I right clicked, but okay. Let me go ahead and reload and uh, defend. The scarecrow takes a defensive position. Uh, Ludwig can defend and get some stamina back. Okay, I can go ahead and shoot, I guess. 43% chance to hit. I missed. Okay, the Scarecrow missed Ludwig with some shanking. Poison claws. 
Ludwig has to defend. Get some more stamina back. I've got plenty of stamina. I reload. Mm, missed again. Ludwig has a little more stamina. Um, power attack, first aid, shove, brute force. Uh, let's just try to attack. 30% chance to hit. Missed. I'll go ahead and take a shot. This 61% chance though. <sighs> Miss Ludwig. Ludwig has, again has some poor. Oh, yes. hit. Bleeding was resisted, but 7 HP damage. That was nice. 7 uh, HP to the legs, it looks like. Very nice. Now we'll go ahead and reload. And uh, defend. Nice parry. Um, I guess try to end it. Did not hit. I took a chance there. Should have defended probably. Oh. Ludwig is poisoned for two turns. Um, hopefully I can end this here. No, nope, missed. Give him poison. This can last a few turns and drain stamina, but using defend will reduce its effects by half. Let's reload. Defend successfully. Uh, his stamina is very low, so let's defend. And come on. There we go. Yes. Crit. Got it. Resisted the bleed. Failed against the weakness and failed against the stun. Or no. Did I fail those? No, no, don't move. We'll end our turn. Oh, it's still alive? Ah, what's above your head here? Just defend, bro. You took a defensive position, we'll reload. Ah, a little bit of poison for two turns. Dang, Flavit. Let's just go ahead and attack. Got him. And got the XP. Nice. Well done, Ludwig. And me too, I guess. And he dropped a poor sackcloth. Someone can make a bag out of this and a torch. Uh, let's come back up here, though. And go ahead and camp. Um, like right here, I guess. Ooh, gotta get that Ludwig stamina back. That legendary Ludwig stamina. Um, rested. Okay, cool. One second, guys. Be right back. And back, guys. Number one, I hope my mic wasn't muted that whole time. That would be bad. <laughs> but um, we're back. Hopefully it wasn't. Uh, I know we're 43 minutes in. But I'm going to try to wrap up... Ooh, a chest. Wrap up this gate. Perhaps before we get out of here. Or should I save this for next time? I guess we can save it for next time. Leave that chest on a bit of a cliffhanger. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. Do hope you enjoyed this episode. Ludwig, Ludwig and I doing some looting and some slaying of monsters. Can't wait to see a level up, how that's going to go. Should be soon enough. But I uh, hope you guys will join me next time. Having a ball so far. Very low... Uh, low... Um, I call it low excitement, like early level Baldur's Gate, but I love that about old school D&D. I just love that. You know, that old, uh, it's a slow grind through the early levels where you're just wearing, a, you know, some, some peasant clothes and swinging a pitchfork or something. So cool. And this game really does it well, but uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. 
I will see you guys next time then. Um, stay cool, my babies. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Much love, peace, and joy, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.